I think brand safety is well defined. I think as an industry over the past 12 months, we have aligned on the definition, which is it's advertising or sponsoring content that encourages hate, violence, or misinformation. So that's been clearly cut and defined. I think suitability is less well defined and the arguments of what is and isn't suitable. I think the industry needs to evolve a little bit and uh, stop seeing brand suitability as yet another avoidance strategy and start making intelligent decisions on both what it means and what truly the impact is on advertisers. So if something is brand suitable, it doesn't necessarily mean it's positive or negative content. It could be the right place to be. And I don't think we've landed on that as an industry yet. When I talk to clients about brand suitability, it's really about being empathetic. And it's not about avoidance per se of content or categories. It's understanding, you know, the conversation about brand suitability has to really be what your advertising message is and the environment that you're in. So if you're marketing or advertising a certain product or service and it's not empathetic to the environment that you're in, that's really the brand suitability, you know, crux or nexus of the issue that you need to resolve. And that's what's come to light in this present time that we're in. So are the brand suitability issues both sort of reputational or also transactional or commercial or what are sort of the considerations? I think it's, I, I would lean more on the reputational side of things and it's the, you know, the fear of the, the screenshot exposure in terms of your ads here, you know, you're not empathetic to the moment that you're in, but it shouldn't be used as a case for avoiding or an argument for avoiding certain content or categories of content. So what are you seeing going on now, particularly in, the, in this time around uh, issues? We've talked about this, of course, about news and investment and issues around brand safety and suitability and uh, particular concerns that are coming up from brands uh, during this time of uh, COVID-19. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things that come up, which is where at UM we've been heavy and strong advocates for clients to invest and advertise in news. And we come out clearly saying news is absolutely categorically a brand safe environment to be. There is no reason to avoid news and say that it's not brand suitable. If anything, the learning from this moment, regardless of advertising category is be appropriate with your messaging and have the right creative that is appropriate to the the times and the environment. Uh, the concept of, or the notion that you should have somehow avoid negative news is I think a dangerous you know, path to play because defining what is negative, it's a slippery slope and you can't ever win that debate. You know, what's negative to one person might not be negative to another. And then the other thing is no one, in the research that we've done, no one blames a brand for COVID-19 or coronavirus or a negative news event, it gets back to what I would call the empathetic messaging around that content. You don't go out and say to people, hey, go have a, a party right now and invite all your friends over next to content right now, regardless of the environment. And so making sure that your creative is right and your creative is empathetic and sensitive, then it will be more than likely brand suitable. We use all the industry certified tools as certified by the MRC. Where we hope tools will go is beyond being blunt force objects and more to contextual and sentiment analysis because that's where you can actually be much more intelligent and misconstruing what a word means in the actual context would go away. So you take a word like shooting, shooting from shooting a goal to shooting a, a human being, you actually know what the differential is between them and go, okay, one is a good place to be, it's safe to be. The other one, I need to know a bit more detail or adjust my messaging if I'm gonna be in that environment. I'll say my biggest hope, but also my biggest concern is that brand safety becomes about avoidance rather than leaning in. And I think what everyone's discovered from the pandemic is that topics like COVID-19 and coronavirus can't be avoided. So avoidance isn't the right strategy going forward. You need to know how to lean into the appropriate content support the appropriate publishers because avoidance isn't a long-term solution because issues don't go away just because you're avoiding them.